bites. Domesticated cats rarely come into contact with other cats unless they live in a household with multiple or have not been fixed and are looking for trouble. Domesticated dogs, on the other hand, have plenty of opportunity to be around other canines and dispute between them occurs pretty often. A strictly domesticated Persian cat, the baby of the family, step out into the backyard. Out of nowhere, a stray cat will appear and attack him. The owners protect their beloved angel and the incident seems to be over. There were no apparent wounds, but the cautious other owners fear the possibility of infection and brought the cat to our clinic next, over the next couple of days. It was the right thing to do. Although the test showed no signs of infection, the doctor found a small hole filled with little pus buried deep in the long hair of the cat's back. It looked like the nail of the attacker had penetrated the skin and left some bacteria. Because of this, inflammation developed. The inflamed wound needed uh, hygienic measures and the hair around it has to be shaved. The spot has to be cleaned and pus pressed out of the inside. In performing the procedure, the dog discovered a big pocket of pus under the skin. It has to be opened and drained. So anesthesia, surgery, tube inserted into drain, antibiotics, e collar bandage, etc. All of that just because of needle-like punch. A massive Napolitan Mastiff and the short Albert were muscle or Rottweiler lived next door to each other. They bark and gaunt, uh, grow, rolled through the fence. But only after they've met face to face, if a frozen conflict exists, chances are that one day it will grow hot. One day some workers had to repair the fence between the two houses. And that's when the two fighters got the opportunity for personal tussle. It was a dog fight without rules. The Rottweiler caught the Mastiff by his cheek while the Mastiff beat his enemy on the shoulder. When two strong dogs uh, clench each other, the only way to separate them is to take their hind legs and push them in the opposite direction. Luckily, both dogs' owners were rare, rather strong men and able to do it. Unfortunately, the grip was so hard that neither fighter released his jar. When all participants had nearly exhausted themselves, the wife of the Mastiff went around in the backyard with a uh, hose and spray water into dogs' faces, which made them release the embrace. Both dogs became outpatients. The Mastiff's cheeks were torn apart and the Rottweiler's shoulder seriously cut. Although there was a lot of blood, it was nothing too serious. They just need some soft tissue stitching and wound hygiene. The main problem for this stuff was to keep both bodies as far away from each other uh, as possible until they went under anesthesia. The two nuances and it, wasn't, it was done. Soon both dogs were okay. There were only one lasting consequence. Even since the accident, Steve always appeared to be winking 